Yeah. You know, so here's the axe head. You know what that is? That's the axe hole. Come on, really? Who does that? All right, hey everybody, Pop Can Dan. <laughs> Woo, it's cold, man. I'm telling you, December 28th. Wow, up here in Canada. The ground's still not frozen, though, because we had a mild stretch. I had packed it in on my last video. I said, hey, thanks, the good end to the year, blah, blah, blah. And the ground's still not frozen. So I said, you know what? I got a few hours today. I'm coming out for one last shot. I got my detector back on track. Remember, it was messed up. I told you about that in the last video. It's back on track. I'm going to see what I missed out here. This is a field where uh, Eric uh, from Relic Dirty Hands actually noticed that my uh, that my screen there was something missing. It was notched out on my on my low twenties, and I was in this field, man. And I'm wondering, did I miss coppers? How many? Did I, what did I miss? I had to come back here. It was killing me. Ground's not frozen. I said I'm going for it, man. I'm going for it. I got the Teletubby head on today. I'm flying solo. Oh, there's going to be big, big, big things coming today. Here we go, man. All right, first hole. <laughs> all right friends the ninja reporting in <laughs> it's funny i uh in the field way did you see the tree line down there right where my fingers behind it they're having a big bonfire out in the field some of the local guys i don't know who i mean obviously they they must have be affiliated to this land i got permission to be here and uh, I guess they had spotted me and they came over in a pickup truck and they wouldn't come up to me, but they were, they were going around the hill and it was like they were going around the outside of the perimeter trying to see what I was doing. I guess maybe they phoned the landowner and realized, hey, he's supposed to be here, it's okay. And they just left me alone. But having said that, sorry, a lot of talk, a lot of talk. I moved over to another section of hill here and I think I may have figured out now where the, uh, where the home was. I mean, it's scattered everywhere, but I think I found something that, that may tell uh, a good story on whether this was where the home was. Check this out. All right, I think you see my car just over the hill there, peeping down. Um, yeah, it was down, it was screaming. And I believe this is part of a stove. I believe this is part of an old stove. Look at that, eh? Pretty interesting. Wow, now I gotta carry this out of here. <laughs> Not bad though. All right, man. So, you know, you have a lot of time to think when you're out there swinging the detector in the middle of a field and all you got is your sounds you're listening for. And I was saying to myself, man, you guys at home are lucky, man. Like, you guys watching this, you get to sit on your couch with some popcorn, you get to make fun of me, do whatever you want. And I'm out here freezing in this field up in the middle of Canada. But you know what? I love doing it, man. I love doing it and I do it for you. <laughs> Anyways, check this out. This was a no-brainer. Yeah, the frozen tundra <laughs> down here in the ground. Yeah, it was two inches. Look at that. I think I'm on the home site now. Definitely no. Now I've I've been all over this field, and I think I I rounded it down. Now I think I got it. That's a pretty cool little find. All right. <laughs> I was literally. What is that noise? I was literally. 15 inches from my last hole. I, I, I put as I put my detector down, I put it down and the coil landed on top of a hammer and signal. Ding 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 ding. I'm like, what the heck? So I said as soon as I finish that one, I gotta check what this one is. Too funny. Check this out. Classic axe head. Yeah. You know what? So here's the axe head. You know what that is? That's the axe hole. Come on, people, work with me. The axle. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> I thought it was funny anyways. I don't care what you think. It's freezing out here. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. I don't know what that is. It looks like a rear view mirror, but it's like a 1800s rear view mirror. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. It's got a little hook like it was, it was attached to like something... Maybe even on a stick or something. I don't know what that is. Friends, please help me. Comment below. I have no idea, man. 
Okay, this was a good signal, man. Like, like I mean, this was 1920 solid, solid. I'm looking at it, and it's in, you know what, there's about literally two inches still of frost on the ground. So I kind of lied when I said the ground was, for, the ground is frozen for about two inches, but once you break through that, slice through that barrier, you're wide open again underneath that. But I got a really, something really neat here, man. The, it looks to me like it might be a brass buckle. Take a look. Like I said, it was screaming. So here, here's what I'm looking at. You can see the grass, frost line, and where are we? Right here. Look at that. Literally not even an inch under, still in the frost. Looks like a brass buckle to me, okay? We're gonna figure this one out, hang tight. All right, never been so disappointed in my life. <laughs> look at that, that was the rim I saw. That was the rim I saw, but look at that. Just copper wire, whatever that is, bugger. All right, uh, definitely slim pickings today. Uh, tons of iron here, man, tons of iron, but Check that out, man. There's a neat little, I mean, I'm talking small, little buckle. Not even thick, really thin. I wonder what this was to. Hmm, pretty neat. Hey, that's a fine, man. I'm on the goods here, for sure. <laughs> All right, this was a good signal, man. It was 14, 15, and uh, I, I couldn't say no to it. So I started to dig it, and it was in the clump. I just broke it away and I'm still looking at the clump and I'm like, and I started to look a little closer. If you look very close, what do you see here? Yeah, that's a knob. And look at that. <laughs> that's a lantern part right there. That's where the wick comes out, right where my finger is. That's a neat little find. You know what? That really solidifies that I am on top of the hump where the home is for sure. So there you go. That's neat. I'm not going to bring in a let that thaw out a little bit. I don't want to go breaking that right now. Okay, man, I'm packing it in. Uh, I just want to show you one thing, though, before I do my little wrap-up. Uh, I was coming down... Okay, so sorry. Back up on that slope. That's where the house was. Up there, right there. And I decided to walk straight down in a line from the house. And look what I, look what I found. Look at this. This is the original entranceway to that house. You can see the big dip right here. Dips right down and comes up the other side to that tree. That That's the original entrance coming in here. So I started swinging the detector. I'm getting all kinds of crazy hits around here, but you know what? I gotta pack it in, man. It's time. <laughs> so anyway, hey, it is me. It is me. The Darth Vader mask was revealed. Um, Okay, this is, I know this is my last hunt for the year because uh, there's only a few days left in the year and the ground's really freezing up and I know we're, we're calling for a lot of frozen weather coming up uh, in the next few days. So uh, this is officially is my last uh, day for sure. But um, all in all though, you know what? There's a lot of potential in this field. <laughs> it's just trying to find some stuff, man. It's crazy. I got the ax head today. I got the... Uh, the lantern piece, a uh, few things, which uh, it shows me there's a house right there. We know that. Uh, it's just a matter of digging deeper and finding the stuff, man. But anyways, I want to wrap up for the year. This is my wrap up for the year as well, folks, by the way. Uh, so just want to thank everybody for watching my channel, man. I appreciate you guys uh, watching the channel. I said I hated you guys earlier in the video because you guys were on your couch and I was out here in the freezing cold, but I don't really. I... I... <laughs> I really I really appreciate you guys watching my video when you make comments and stuff I uh, I appreciate that as well it's very um, it shows that it's not in vain and you know what I, I don't think it is in vain anyways because I love doing what I do and I always say that whether I have one subscriber or one million I'm happy doing what I do I love making videos just for fun it's something you know what when I'm old I can sit down and you know when somebody's changing my diaper and uh, <laughs> I can say hey look that was me on the TV there <laughs> oh boy yeah, i better be careful someone might change my diaper sooner or later but hey listen that's it i'm wrapping up i'm gonna do a couple of videos over the winter just a couple of chat videos just throwing stuff out there having a little bit of fun uh 
you know, putting stuff together just to, uh, just to put out some stuff, uh, you know, get people talking over the winter as well. Keep you, keep people uh, occupied as, as we say. So that's it. Pop can dance sign off. Remember filling your holes. I filled in a ton back here, man. No bullying online folks. I've, uh, yeah, okay. We're doing all right. I haven't seen much bullying in the last little while. Um, and get your permissions, man. This is my permission. I told you earlier in the video, the people drove in their pickup truck through the forest up here and they came around the side to see what I was doing. I guess they called the landowner and realized, oh, okay, he's got permission. They didn't even they didn't even come up to me. I thought they were going to, but they didn't. They just drove down out the other entrance down there. And that's it, man. Just get your permissions. Everybody be good. Metal detecting is a great hobby, man. It's a great hobby. Let's be good ambassadors, all right? Everyone take care.